Hi, Shanna Forstall here, and I am here with Alita Zoe of Alita Designs, and we are so excited because we're partnering together again mm. to do some relief work. And this time, mm. we're helping the people who just survived the fires in Northern California, the campfire in Paradise. And I'm going to actually be going at the end of the month with a group, working with a group on the ground there, to provide some gift cards to survivors and things like that. So I reached out to Alita because Alita's been a partner on several of these projects now. She has such a generous heart. and mm. Um, and her jewelry has so much meaning. So I want Alita to tell you a little bit about the jewelry that she's providing and why and what it means. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for inviting me for the opportunity. You know I'm always um, very led by heart. And you my brand, um, uh, the partners we do and we work with, and I'm really glad that you're doing this to reach out to those victims as well as those who are really callous who are helping victims. I think that is what I love to get behind. So thank you. You and for I that. share that. You know, like Alita and I always have a heart for, for victims how I started and survivors my of disaster. How I but to, yeah. we also are good about mm -hmm. remembering the people who do the work. Yeah. And she's been really great at providing pieces in, in times of disaster for the people who are actually out there in the trenches helping people yeah. on a day to day basis. You know, and I'm all I really feel like I'm all about Shanna, um, really encouraging we talked about this before, encouraging those who are really stepping in where there's a gap. Yeah. And we all need more of that in this world. We need gap steppers, closers, and people right. who can step in and be a good neighbor. So for me, part of this um, effort is just to recognize um, in our way, you yeah. know, pieces that really recognize those who are helpers. So we're donating um, quite a few of our, about 20 of these um, helping hands pieces that have a little handprint with a 3D teardrop to represent. And they're beautiful. Thank you. And um, tell me what that means. Like, So when we bring this piece out to the yeah. people who are providing yeah. helping hands right now, tell me what that piece means and why you chose that one of all of them. Yeah, because I felt like it was the piece that really captures, it doesn't matter where, um, you, if you're a person who sees a need, if you are the one to not just sit back and go, okay, you know, there's a need and it feels really bad and that's really tough for people, but I don't know if I can help, you know, right. but somebody else hopefully they'll help. I, we feel, I feel like I really want to encourage those and recognize those, help those people know they're seen who are actually stepping in the gap and who are stepping in and, and lending a helping hand, being uh, action in love and action is really what we call it. So and you know, those that's of us what the that, helping yeah, hands Yeah, and those about. of us that step in for a few minutes or mm -hmm. a few days or a few weeks, that's one thing, but there are, there's going yeah. to be an army of people who do this long term, and those are the people that we're thinking about mm -hmm. right, right now. Compassion fatigue is very real. Mm -hmm. I've seen it with the other disasters I've yeah. worked with, and you know, that's what I love about bringing a piece of Alita's jewelry to someone who has been working. By the time we get there, they'll have been doing this for yeah. six weeks. So, you know, They've given up time with their family. They're yeah. giving up time off work to go. To me, those and help are other real people. heroes. Those, yes. those are what I feel like I grew up thinking. You know, to be a neighbor, what does that mean anymore? And in the U.S., I'm just thinking like, right. being a good neighbor means stepping in and treating your neighbor like family. What would you right. do if you saw a neighbor struggling? Hopefully, you're not somebody who just goes, "Let me just take care of my own." You're thinking, "How do I help make our whole community a better place?" And that's what our brand's all about, is spreading goodwill, spreading love, spreading encouragement and healing. And so I'm just thinking about those handwritten notes for each of those gifts for those who were um, helping victims. I mean, sometimes they're victims themselves, yeah, right. but they have the heart to, to help. Jump in. And to, to right. help a, lend a helping hand. I'm all about that. And so I really want to recognize them. I'm so grateful for people like you, Shanna. You're very unique. You're very rare. And when you call, I say yes. <laughs> I came from Orange County up here to do this tonight. Right. No matter where I was, down in LA, whatever, I came here tonight just to make sure that these were given to you. And I apologize, that's my phone. But. And that's where I think we're the same, is yes. that you know, we do what we can. Absolutely. And that's all everybody needs to yeah. do. It's like, we, if you don't have a million dollars to give out, mm -hmm. we get it. You know, we don't mm -hmm. either. <laughs> but whatever you have, if it's a little bit of time, well, we know like people I who have, do. or I have some <laughs> yeah. energy and some momentum to kind of gather people mm -hmm. together, I'm good at organizing, mm -hmm. you know, and then I'm gonna organize. She everybody does what they can. Jewelry, so she's gonna give some jewelry. Like, and, yeah, and, and it, was, it, was, it was a loving mom who wrote all those handwritten notes with her gorgeous handwriting with her heart in every word to say thank you for being an encouragement we see you yeah. thank you for your helping hand and then also for for those who've lost their homes and maybe livelihoods what you know struggling right now as a result of fire um, that's what Shanna's wearing these are called teardrop um, necklaces and it's and you're an embodiment of this really yeah. is and that's why I really this is hers to wear 
um, but we're gifting some to victims to represent how, you know, those are tears of grief right now, but we have faith and we were encouraging you, holding the hope for you that even though right now it seems devastating, your tears of grief are going to be transformed to tears of joy very, very soon and, um, and to take heart. So that's that's what this was about, and I'm really um, grateful and blessed to be a part of this. And, and you know, we to saw this in Louisiana. We saw people. I mean, I took some of Elita's jewelry down there, and I took yeah. it and I gifted, I think, five women who had been working relentlessly to help survivors after yeah. that major flood. And each one of them, I mean, we have video of it. They just they would break down when they were recognized and. Mm. It's such a small thing, but it's such a big thing to actually look in people's face and say thank you for what you're doing, mm -hmm. and then to take cry. pieces to and the, survivors, you know, you know in the and end, just say it's, it's gonna. It's and gonna you were get bringing better. real relief. You were bringing better. food oh, and yeah. gift we cards and stuff, card, like, blankets money. and I mean practical stuff. Yeah, so but I, I get that this is jewelry, <laughs> but at the same time, I think sometimes yeah. when you get something that is like it's kind of considered a luxury item. Yeah. It's considered frivolous or not necessary. But when you give them something like that with a lot of heart and a message behind it, um, there's something about that that elevates this human heart and soul or spirit to beyond a certain circumstance. And I feel like that's what I'm about. For me, yeah. it's not just jewelry, it's actually giving them a message and a hope that's right. different from where they're at. So that was lovely to see the video of the women receiving that, to see that they really received it yeah. and they felt encouraged. Because Absolutely. I remember those stories, Shannon, I was blown away. These are women who lost their homes, whew, um, Schools, their kids are struggling, their husbands, yeah, everything. And in the devastation around them, they're, they're digging in, sleeves rolled up, digging in. Yeah. And in a way, they're even talking about the fact that the city, it was, everybody was devastated, didn't know what to do. It was right. way beyond. And that's what, similar to what happened in Paradise, where the whole city But they just jumped in, lend, yeah. handing, helping hands, and that makes a difference. Yeah. That makes, if everybody did that, yeah. you know. I know we're small right now, we're just kind of recognizing people that we can, but that it's makes a difference, Shanna. In these moments. Exactly, as as but you're doing huge work by recognizing people who I consider catalysts, people who are being a solution. So thank you for that, I love that. And you know, something I want to point out as well as we close is just that this is going to be a long-term recovery. Um, we've seen this in Louisiana, we've mm. seen this in Houston. It takes a while mm. for things to get back to normal, mm -hmm. especially when there's been a complete devastation to an area like there was in Paradise. So we would encourage you, if you can help this initiative that we're doing to get gift cards, do it. But don't stop now. Relief is going to need to happen for the next year. It's going to take years, literally years, for these people to put their lives back together. But um, do what you can, and, and let's all continue to lift them up with whatever way we can do that. And luckily, some of them will have these beautiful pieces of jewelry <laughs> to remind them that things are going to get better. Mm. They're going to get better. Yes, they will. That's the hope. And it will. Thank you, Alita, for yeah. your generous heart and your time, and Absolutely. for always freely giving when you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. My blessing. My pleasure. Bye, everybody. Bye.